So this is what my house is looking like <laughs> right now. It is a Monday morning and the house is absolutely out of control. I have my camera equipment up. My son was here playing yesterday. I have just stuff everywhere. This is what the living room is looking like. Um, it's even messy behind the couch here. This brings us into the office, which isn't too bad, but still things need to be put in order. Um, my son's room's an absolute mess. Stuff just, yeah. So I'm going to my bedroom because my husband is currently asleep. That's another thing that I have to deal with. Is All right, you guys, so I am starting in our den. And what I like to do is one room by room, I just um, straighten up every room. Uh, I throw whatever needs to go into the other room. I just throw in there real quick and just focus on that one room. That's the fastest way I found. Then once I'm done with every room by room, meaning straightening it up, I go back again and I start to wipe down, do any type of dusting. Um, so I that's how you know that's the way that I clean, and I found that that's more the most effective. Um, taking down my camera equipment. This is typically left up for weeks. Yeah, this is where I film. Um, even though we live in sunny Phoenix, our house is actually in the dark, in the shade. So this is where the most light can come in. Everywhere else is pretty dark. So just putting up my background. Um, I will leave my lights there because I will still be filming. It's just a house of you guys because I do film literally every two days. So um, I keep the film, the, excuse me, the lights there, but they're out of the way. Most people don't even notice it. The few people who do come over. Um, so yeah, just putting everything out of the way. I'm a type of person to where I clean as I go, meaning throughout the week, if I see something after a while, if it's bothering me, I'll go ahead and clean it. I don't have designated cleaning days. Um, I do try to do laundry only uh, one to two times a week, but it's, it could be difficult sometimes. So cleaning off the table here, I've started working at the table in the morning because our office is in the back of the room um, and everyone is still asleep because I do get up early, early in the morning to work. All right, so yeah, just continuing to put things away. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. One of the challenges of having a small child, as I'm sure all of you know, is toys. And JB has his quote unquote office behind our couch in the living room. And I just gave in, you know, this is his little office setting where he pretends play, he pretends to play. <laughs> and yeah, it is what it is. So next I'm going to be in my office, just doing a bit of decluttering, getting rid of some papers. Honey, when your child is in school, they literally come home with 400 sheets of paper every day. So I try to throw away stuff. Um, and just continuing to organize.
try to save the kitchen for last because honestly, I can be in here for quite a bit. But I just gave in and started to um, wash the dishes and let them dry in the dishwasher. You guys, I'm one of those people. I don't use my dishwasher that much. I just don't. Now I'm back in my sheen room, my guest bedroom, um, putting some things away. I recorded a lot of hair videos, so I have products everywhere. Um, this is where I store my uh, beauty products, my Amazon packages that I don't want my husband to see. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have a lot of stuff back here, um, including my hair products, okay? I have filmed back here before, but I prefer to film in the living room. So yeah, just continuing to organize this back room. Ryan Little. <laughs> So now in our bedroom, um, y'all, this is such a challenge. I'm just going to be really honest with you just to put all the pillows on the bed. This bed is pretty high one. It's, it's almost to my waist. I'm short. I'm only 5'3". But enough of that. Um, my husband doesn't get out of bed until 10. So what I'm doing right now, I probably do this once a week because by 10, I am knee deep in work. I, you know... I'm working, I'm doing stuff. It would be totally different if we were on a traditional schedule, eight to five, and absolutely I would do this every day, but this is just not, you know, I'm not gonna front and pretend like I make up my bed like this every day. I do ensure that the covers are on it, but what I'm referring to is adjusting the pillows and decorating the bed with pillows every day. That's not happening. <music> Now that my husband is gone, I can now finally wipe everything down. Everything is put in this place, basically. I'm just doing one over. Look, this is a livable home. There are gonna be some things out of place, yeah. So my lights are over there for now. I do have some uh, stuff on the counter, excuse me, on the end table here that I have to organize later on this week. Um, and then I will be doing the floors in here, the wood floors all over, but just sweeping in the kitchen and bathroom. Now I tried to use natural, um, cleaning, cleaning products because they have been, you know, a lot better for you overall health wise and for your home. But girl, let's just keep it real. I got my bleach over here and I have my pine saw. So, oh, it, it depends on what I'm using it for. So my bleach, I use um, in my kitchen, the toilet bowl, sometimes I put a little bit um, in my mixture of pine salt for the kitchen and bathroom floors. But overall, I do try to use vinegar or these uh, cleaning sprays by Method. I also have this one toilet cleaner, Simple Truth Organic. Now, let me show you, just because it's organic and all natural and all this doesn't mean it's necessarily good for you. So let me show you an example. So this is an example. This is Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day multi-surface everyday cleanser okay um one spray of this lavender scented all right once or two sprays of this and i started coughing uncontrollably coughing there's something in it that i'm allergic to um and again it's made without parabens you know all of that 
horrible bad stuff that you're not supposed to clean with but this is trash for me i mean it, i shouldn't say it's trash but this is just one of those quote unquote natural products that i can't use because i had a reaction to now if i'm not careful i get the same reaction with this daily granite so i have to be careful so i'm just going to go ahead i have now another hour to wipe everything down um and then do the floors the wood floors okay now for my wood floors i use a little bit just a little bit well let me let me back up for once a month i use the murphy oil but overall i do vinegar with a little bit of dawn soap just a little bit and hot water that is it to keep our floors clean and they're okay you can see right now yeah i need to clean them but nothing has happened to them and we've had these floor for, floors for a couple of years all right, you guys, now that everything is in its place, I'm taking the time to wipe down, um, basically doing some dusting. This is the one task that I stay on top of because my son and I, we both have allergies and asthma. A couple of years ago, the dusting had got out of hand. We had a, a huge dust bowl out here um, and we weren't living in the house. And so when we moved back, I could literally taste the dust in the air. It was horrible. Um, yeah, we have these huge wood, wood blinds also that need to be dusted, which is why I do have a housekeeper who comes in once a month, and I hired her just to dust. Of course, she does other things, but her primary focus is to dust and do the floors. So yeah, I probably dust one to two times a week, okay? <music> you guys now I am sweeping my hardwood floors which honestly I would not recommend this because sweeping just aggravates the dust it lifts it up into the air whereas the vacuuming actually collects it but there is something going on with our vacuum cleaner I don't know what it is so if you have a suggestion for a good vacuum let me know I've gone through five or six in ten years I just feel like they don't make appliances like they used to they make it with cheap um, materials and you're forced to buy another one like every three or four years so anyway continuing to sweep here and next up you're gonna see me wiping down the um, bathroom sinks and cleaning the toilets you guys I stay on top of this too I probably wipe down my bathroom like three or four times a week I know this is a little bit redundant but I just have to have it clean like that um, even the mirrors if the mirrors are dirty I don't wait once a week to clean it I clean it y'all that's just how I clean
right so using a microfiber mop to wipe down my um, hardwood floors I do use two separate mops for my wood floors versus the porcelain floors um, just because microfiber tends to be better for hardwood floors okay because it again it picks up any leftover dust as needed again using the solution of um, hot water to distilled vinegar and non soap y'all my back is starting to hurt this is two and a half hours into cleaning and yeah my body's starting to break down <laughs> <laughs> um, I have tried every type of hardwood floor cleaner and this is what works best for me and of course the Murphy's oil at the end of the month. So this is what my floors look like. All right, you guys, I am done cleaning. It is two hours and this is what my house looks like. The floors are done, things are in its place overall. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect and I'm not trying to make it look perfect, but it is clean and it smells good. That all That's all that matters. Now, um, probably tomorrow or the next day, I will do my kitchen floors and the bathroom floors. And like I stated in the commentary, I should have stated in the video that I did my bathrooms two days ago, so they don't really need to be done. But yes, you know, I have my computer back over here because I work from the kitchen table sometimes. And this is what the den is looking like. Here's the office, pretty clean. I have a bag of shoes there that I'm gonna be dropping off at the Goodwill, so I just has, have it there as a reminder. Pretty clean, pretty dusted everything. Um, and we have the bathroom. Again, did the bathroom a couple of days ago, so just did a one over, wiping down the sink, the toilets, the mirror. And here's the guest bedroom, AKA my she room. Everything is in order. I do have some things left out because this is just a reminder, hey girl, going to church on Sunday and I have my products out for what I'm gonna re be reviewing up next. But again, overall, it's pretty neat and that's all that matters. Here's JV room. The bed is made for now. <laughs> things are in its place. And here we are in the master bedroom. The bed has been made. The floors have been vacuumed. I've dusted, We're wiped down the countertops. We have granite countertops. Um, I had to stop using that one spray because I started coughing as you heard so there's no way I could use it also in here So just wiped it down with the um, the other method blue the green one and we don't use this jacuzzi that much I've been in this, in this jacuzzi like twice. I know that's sad But I do run it um, once a month and we have a special cleaner that we run so that the jets remain clean But I wiped that down Wipe the glass down again two days ago really did you know got in there wiping down this is a beast to clean because of the hard water but hey it is what it is um what room in here all of that has been wiped down we are good smells good yeah y'all so that is it you guys that is how i keep my house clean this will stay clean for a couple of days but like i stated i clean as i go throughout the work week and um it's not perfect there are some other things that could be put in, in place. And yes, there's some things that I could have cleaned better, but it is what it is. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Take care.